So this is collaboration tools uh, section of the evening. I know Bo has a pretty badass one. Um, uh, really cool one, sorry, language. Uh, <laughs> and so I wanted him to mention that one. And then, uh, yeah, the rest of you guys. Cool collaboration tools. Well, uh, I don't know how badass it is. It's kind of uh, going, going old school. But um, uh, when I started at Square, we were using Pivotal Tracker for everything because a lot of the uh, engineers came from Pivotal Tracker and, or came from working at Pivotal and they uh, preferred it. And it took a while for me to ramp up because it's a very dense tool and there's a lot to learn in order to actually use it efficiently and understand how to use it best. So, I um, mean, the goal of that tool was to help us determine, like, uh, okay, here's a task and it's three points or whatever, like, and given all these things, how, how soon is this feature going to be done? And it never quite worked out. So, um, a few months ago, we decided just to make it physical. And we uh, got one of these rolling whiteboards and uh, we're using both sides of it. And basically what we do is one side is kind of high level uh, projects. And so I work at the, on the growth team at Square, and so all of our projects are about uh, user acquisition in different, different ways. And so we divide those up into like um, various uh, areas to make sure that we're um, working on all the different areas at any given time. So there's an index card um, that has names of these different projects. And so uh, we have a line on this board, and below that is all these kind of projects that we're not working on just yet, but they're, they're kind of divided up amongst these different, pro different types of areas. And then we move them above this line to say, okay, well, we're working on this one thing. So if you, you can look at this one side of the board and get a good idea of the, the projects we're actually working on right now. Um, and uh, the team stands by this board every morning. The other side of this board is a little more um, in-depth and detailed. And the other side of this board is about uh, tasks. And so based on the current kind of projects we're working on, we break these down into, into actual tasks. And the, the second side is kind of divided um, vertically into three three columns. The left side is like kind of the queue, things that we can start working on. The middle is like things in progress, and the, and the right side is things that are completed. And so every morning we uh, gather around this board at 945, um, and we also, in, in the middle column, we have uh, little laminated pictures of all of us. We all take our pictures down off this, and as we go around the circle and do our stand-up, we put our face on the card or cards that we're working on that day. And it's a great way to really understand who's working on what, and so you know who to go talk to about what. And also, if someone else comes up to you in the middle of the day and says, hey, uh, can you do this real quick? You're like, is it on the board? Sorry, can't do it. And uh, so it helps them see, like, if, if I do this thing for them, what's going to take away from everything else. But, you know, you've got to balance all those things. But uh, that's the tool we're using right now. It works really well. So I think we, I mentioned a little bit about collaboration tools, IRC and such, but I think really you're talking about like what kind of project management and, and or like collaborative uh, editing and such. So I've, I think we found that in typically we use Etherpad a lot for any kind of real-time collaboration and like if you're, uh, if you're taking notes together on something or if you're brainstorming something together synchronously, uh, Etherpad seems like one of the best ways to kind of build that up. And typically, like one or with what with one or other channels, like Etherpad plus co plus teleconference, and this is sort of combining with like a remote working thing works particularly well. And then for asynchronous stuff, or when you know when you finish the sort of synchronous period, that stuff gets transferred to a wiki page and then kind of gets iterated there. Uh, and then the other asynchronous areas are essentially like Bugzilla, um, and and sometimes email. So if you need to write something longer and have a discussion despite a meeting. It's email, but Etherpad we found to be tremendously helpful. So Mozilla, we run our own Etherpad server and, and work that way. Um, as far as the project management stuff, I think that's a huge challenge for any organization. The whole like, can you please do this thing now that's more urgent than the thing I told you to do five minutes ago, right? And you're like, well, which one should I draw up? And um, it's a challenge. And I, I guess one of the things I feel pretty fortunate about is that I get to put all that on a wiki page and make it public. Be like, look, this is what I'm working on. Here it is, and if you want to add something, you can put it at the end of the queue, or you know, tell me, explain to me why it's more important than something else. And that sort of places the burden of, of prioritization and, and makes the person conscious that there's a larger context that, than, than, than just their one task, which I think is really helpful. Um, I don't really have anything too super valuable to add. I mean, we've used Pivotal Tracker, and we've used GitHub issues, and we've used um, a handful of things we've tried to build because we thought both of those were awful, but we couldn't build anything better in the long run because it's just a really hard problem to solve. Um, so yeah, I don't know. 
that's an acceptable answer. 